Welcome, the Empress of Tomorrow. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan, the NXT Women's Champion. Absolutely incredible with what she has accomplished in such a short time here. Well on her way to becoming one of the best ever. And don't let that smile fool you. Oh no, only the precursor to what's to come. It's less of a smile than it is a warning shot. Here comes the fire in fire and just. <laughs> is one of the most intimidating superstars in all of WWE, man or woman. Her intensity is unparalleled. And we're here in Orlando, a breeding ground for many of the WWE's top superstars, thanks to the Performance Center. Breeding ground for great commentators, too. And, and there's Saxton. I don't know how you got bred. See that coming from Sonya Deville. Oscar turns it around. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Attack to the midsection. And Oscar was able to get out of the way there. The Empress of Tomorrow wanted to begin her WWE career at NXT because that's where women's wrestling is being revolutionized, and she wanted in. With all due respect to NXT and the rise of that group of superstars, when Asuka made the jump to the main roster, the lights became brighter and the competition more fierce. Oh, a series of brutal kicks to the body. Asuka is just so dangerous in the ring, Corey. Do you have any idea how her opponent can gain the advantage in this match? Well, it won't be easy. Asuka isn't like most superstars where her cockiness tends to get the better of her. If anything, it only makes her more powerful. But the key is not to fall into Asuka's trap. Instead, make her fall into yours, where she walks into your offense, not the other way around. Again, it won't be easy, but it's a strategy. Down, head over heels. Uh, nobody is ready for Oscar right now. The Empress of Tomorrow. Incredible here tonight. Drop kick. Now Oscar is showing how they do it back in Japan. I want to follow up on Byron's interesting point about Asuka's move to the main roster. Corey, you wrestled around the world, but you understand when you come to this company, it's a completely different level. Well, that may be the case. You have to step up when you enter WWE, and I think Asuka knows she has no breathing room to rest on her laurels. Great match here, but if you missed any of the action from this week, just go to WWE's Facebook page, YouTube channel, Twitter, and more to get all caught up. Look at this. Snap suplex. And Asuka was able to get out of the way there. She might be in some trouble now. She may have underestimated the opposition she'd face tonight. Here she goes. From the top. Elbow. And there's the kick out. She's still in this one. 
Asuka turns it around. Oh, windmill kick. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Asuka has the crowd eating out of the palm of her hand, but she's got to get refocused here. And Sonya Deville says, not this time. Oh, my. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Oh, sliding hip attack. Off into the pin. There's two. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Not the first time we've seen her do this. From the top. Elbow drop. Referee in position. Two. She just will not give up, Cole. Look at Asuka stalking her. Asuka looking for it. There it is. Asuka Lock is in. Cross face chicken wing is in. Asuka Lock. Asuka Lock. Nowhere to go. Matter of time. Asuka wins. Some will say it's all over once Asuka's war mask came off. And there was no question about that one. You can bet there are women in the back right now shaking in their boots, and rightfully so. We've got an animated crowd here tonight, as we usually do when we're in Orlando.